if your bread ain't Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. That was Freeway, Philadelphia's own, with Turn It Up. Think we stuntin', now we bout to turn it up. And I'm MC, aka Microphone Criminal, and this is another episode the of the Next Level right. Show. And today I got a special guest co host in the building who's also a co, uh, what, what would we be? Like co cohorts? Yeah. You know, partners in crime? Partners in crime, <laughs> there you go. Super Tank. Peace. From peace, yard peace, to yard. peace, peace, everybody. I know I'm all calm and collective. Yeah. You know, I'm usually hype on my show. This is your show. This is your show. We just, like you was just here the other day. I right? was. I was here just this Saturday, ripping and running, playing the freshest in uh, reggae and hip hop. You know, 4.30 cool. to 7 people listening. Definitely check her out. I listened to it, and right off the bat, I heard tracks that I was like, hold on, I need that. Fire. I, need that. I ain't had the right people. I ain't know who was on it. Like I said, fifty cents. She was like fifty cents. She was start shaking. <laughs> she started shaking her <laughs> head like. Man, you saw boy. that? You saw yeah, I seen it. She like this boy. I'm like, oh man. I be forgetting man. there's a camera in there, and I and I be re- I react really awkwardly to some people yeah, saying things like. But play fifty cents. Tonight we got some things. We got G John calling up. We also going to debut uh, underground track of the week by Black Cancer a little bit later. And we got top five hip hop and reggae songs that should have never came out ever, ever. <laughs> so keep it locked. Oh yeah, and the topic of the day is things that make you S M H, which is shake your head. Call up two six seven five three five three nine three zero. Let me know what makes you shake your head. Like when you see what's going on, what makes you just be like, like how she did when I said fifty cent. She was like. Psh. Man. You know what I mean? So we already got the first one, Super Tang. What makes her shake her head is when people don't know the right artist on the track. <laughs> so 267 535 3930. We're going to get into Cassidy, Monster Music. Yeah. Yeah. That was Cassidy, Monster Music, Philadelphia's own. And we back, MC, Super Tang in the building. We was reminiscing again on, on uh, what happened Saturday when I had the wrong artist. <laughs> And I'm trying to tell her, like, the boy sounded like 50 cents as far as voice-wise. I'm talking about vocals here. Sure. And, and I was even thinking to myself when I heard it. I'm like, man, that boy, I ain't never heard 50 cents spitting well, like you know, that. Well, you know, there was a feature on there. Maybe you were hearing Mikey Fats. Maybe it was Mikey Fats. I don't All know. Right. I don't know. Oh no, we'll play the track later on. I have it on the hard drive. Yeah, we'll, I want to play and, that and, track. And for all the listeners, you know, we'll play it. And then for the people who know who Fifty Cent is, and then we'll compare mm-hmm. it. Maybe they can call in and be like, you know what, MC, you were right. Uh huh. She was and wrong. I want to get that SMH taken back off of my record that she I mean, put on my record. You're not gonna get it back. I can't get you it can't back. Give it. Oh, man. <laughs> that was stuck in the moment. It's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> But all right, two six seven five three five three nine three zero. I'm about to bring to you an underground cat from all the way in Nebraska, MC Gringo. Oh, oh, yo, peace to uh, Nebraska, Omaha, uh-huh. Nebraska. Yeah, there's some fans from Yardy Yard that listen in. So, there yeah, you, go. you know, I've been tell- I told them that I was gonna come on the show. Hopefully, they listen in today. So, no peace doubt, to Omaha. Shout out. Okay, okay, MC Gringo. Representing Nebraska, Omaha. Omaha. So we got some fans over in Omaha. That's just a matter of fact. Yeah. Where, where around the world do they be listening in? Oh man, the everywhere. So today I just picked up Amsterdam. Amsterdam just uh, downloaded a whole bunch of episodes. They listened to the rebroadcast of yesterday's episode and just went back and like downloaded almost all the ones I had posted up. Um, Germany, okay. Hungary. Uh, oh, so you, you Russia, all in the foreign countries. You know what I'm saying? Morocco, <laughs> Ireland. Okay, that's yeah, what's up. Yeah, yeah. It's and oh, uh, oh, shout outs to uh, Kansas, Wichita, Kansas. You know, I know they're like a neighbor to Omaha, but like. And Tech Nine is from uh, Kansas City, right? Hey. There you go. See. <laughs> oh yeah, he was on the cipher. I remember we was talking about ciphers before. Mm-hmm. Would you want to put that out? Uh, your dream cipher. Oh, my dream cipher. What yeah, did I say? That, w- that was a nice, clever. Oh man, that we- was a clever thing you had told me there. <laughs> we were talking about a whole bunch of stuff, and I was saying, as far as female wise, you know, my dream cipher. As much as we were talking about Nicki Minaj, and I'm like, eh, I can- I'm here or there with her. Mm-hmm. I said my dream cipher would be like with, you know, Nick- Nicki Minaj, Rod Digger, um, Lauren Hill, uh, Bahama Dia. Oh God, and who was the other? Who was the other lady I had said? I said Queen, Queen Latifah, Latifah back in the day. And um and yo yo, 
I would love for for all of them to like. Oh no, actually no, I take that back. You said Lauren Hill too, right? Yeah, I said Lauren Hill. I take Yo Yo back. Um, Left Eye. Oh uh, okay. Yeah, that that's would be a good my, one. That would be my dream. I like cipher. that one. That's a nice, interesting drink. Not a battle, people. Not a battle. Just yeah, a just cipher. a cipher. Just a cipher. Just passing the mic you know back saying? and forth. No Everybody want to battle these days. No beef. Like soon, especially as soon as they found out you were rappers, and they like, oh yeah, I bet you can't battle the ball. No beef, just turkey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so two six seven five three five three nine three zero. I want to know what makes you SMH. Holla at me. Let me know. This is Bad Me Seaver with Fast Lane. Yeah, yeah, that was Bad Me Evil. Yeah, yeah. Eminem Royce to find out. What you think about that uh, tag team pairing? It was good. I mean, you know, I love Eminem and I love Royce to find out. I actually play him on the show, so I think um, it was a very smart collab. For them to get That's together. Cool. That's cool. We thought I was going to talk trash about him. Yeah, I did. I you, did. See, why do you think I... Why because, do you, I mean, you do sound like a very critical person, but that ain't the reason why I thought... Because uh, when I first mentioned it, when I said, yeah, I'm about to play that bad means evil, I thought I heard like a little... Type oh, of, no. I didn't even... Oh, I, right. I wouldn't even pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> she's here, but she's not here right now. I'm right here, right on this bone, right here. Mm-mm. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? This makes somebody stab somebody over. This chicken is great. <laughs> mm-hmm. Famous recipe right there. Dipped, yeah. in, dipped in Guinness, right? Yeah, braised. Braised I in Guinness. Braised. All right, so I wanted to ask you, Super Tang, because yes. you're very opinionated when it comes to the no, music. No, 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 there's a difference. I have opinions. All right, well. I'm not opinionated. But you can right. ask me. That was technical, but okay. <laughs> you have opinions about the music business. So let the people know. What are your views when you say the BS hip hop, you know, versus uh? Because I remember you was telling me something about the quality, yeah, of the production, the music has gone up, but yeah. the artist development, yeah. Can well, you break them down. With I mean, that philosophy. I mean, it's pretty simple because you know, back in the day where they used to have artists, and you know, back in the day where artists used to just be able to kind of express who they were, the, what their mind is, they had you know pretty much good control about what their sound is and their look. And now I kind of see a whole bunch of people who are, I wouldn't say clones because it's so cliche, but people who aren't really shining shining through who they are. I mean, like I said, the production-wise, as far as music, has been great, you know, because if you really, not a lot of people buy CDs anymore, so you're not really looking for liner notes. A lot of people do it downloads, so real music heads will look to music and kind of read who's doing this production work at this studio and blase, blase, and you'll see that it's, there's these up and coming producers, up and coming studios who are producing major tracks out here in the mainstream, but the artists themselves, I mean, they're kind of boring. Like, really think about it. When half of them, if they're not getting drunk, if they're not getting arrested, if they're not really going out to fancy restaurants, like, what are they what really? Are they, yeah. What are they really doing? Like, if you're not, you know, I buy stuff all the time too. Why should I really care that you're going out to stores that I obviously can't go to? Like. True that. So what type of people do you listen to that? I mean, I listen to a whole bunch of people, but um, I mean, I can't, I can rattle on and on and nobody will really know what they are. But, you know, some people I say in mainstream, I do listen to Wu-Tang. Um, people know about Knife Wonder. I do listen to Knife Wonder, um, DJ Premier, Busta Rhymes. Uh, yeah. You know, I listen to people like Busta that. Uh, for, I love, you know, I'm a big nerd fan. I, I, ha- I will admit I haven't listened to a lot of their stuff lately because I've just been delving in so many different, you know, eclectic genres. But mm-hmm. I'm, a, I'm a big Pharrell, a Pharrell Williams fan, been since like the jump. And um, I love what they what they do. Um, what else? I, you know, my so guilt- you do you do get out there into the into. I will say my guilty pleasure is Black Eyed Peas, but um, it's a, it's a love hate relationship with Black Eyed Peas because I love. Black on Peas be before, like way back in the days. Mm-hmm. And, um, request line? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? When it was just them and it was like their first album, but, and Fergie was all right, you know, back in the day when she was in Wild Orchid. I mean, for what it was. A lot of people don't even know that, that she was in an R&B group back in the 90s, but, um, they're yeah. my guilty pleasure. It's just something you can just jump up and dance to and, you know, when you're People swat. call it pop, though, right? Yeah, you know, I call it that stuff that I like to jump around when I'm like, <laughs> when I had like a couple shots and I just want to, you know. All right. What about Lupe <laughs> Fiasco? Is, is, is he? Um, he's cool. I mean, I I'm gonna be honest. He's I right? I haven't listened. I mean, I 
he's going through a transition right now. That's why I put it up because I've mm-hmm. been listening. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about Lupe as far as um, his his views and things like that. And he's just going. I think something happened to him in the industry, and he's going oh, yeah. through this transition right now. But um, I haven't really heard much of a lot of stuff that he's been doing because right. you know. Yeah, his label was jerking him around. Yeah, for his last. Of drink. course. Oh yeah, Wu. Speaking of Wu Tang, they coming out with something supposedly next year. You heard about that? Yeah, yeah, they're going to be here in Philly actually, um, this Friday. At the, oh yeah, at the uh, Trocadero. Oh no, no. Bet you didn't know that. I ain't know. <laughs> I only know about albums. I don't know about concerts. Forty five dollars, people at the. Oh uh, no, it's forty three dollars at the door, and I think it's like forty eight. She's no forty three. Forty three before, and then forty eight. You know, at the door. So yeah, you know, you got to keep your ears to the streets. I just spin records. Yeah. Like, she's the concert promoter. She knows about. All that type of stuff. I can't That's just, what's up. I can't just listen to music and be like in the house. I gotta go see this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah. You know, I've heard of. I heard that Wu Tang's coming out with a lot of stuff, and um, you know, big shout outs for to, the 20th anniversary. This mm-hmm. year. Yeah. And there's a lot of people out there who are doing, um, you know, Wu Tang tribute stuff. Big shout outs to uh, my people. You know, the Wrecking Crew, um, Curly Castro, Haslow, and Curly, um, and Zilla Rocka. They mm-hmm. actually have this thing called um, Wu Tang Pulp that they're coming out with. They actually leaked some tracks. This one track. That's a, like an album? Yeah, uh-huh. it's a um, Wu Tang tribute album. So basically, they kind of just, you know, in the reggae world, we call refix or, re, you know, we kind of, they kind of just took the song and took it took it on a whole different level, but it's kind of a tribute to them. So, you know, they didn't just. So instead of remix, it's called refix? Yeah, they refixed it up. Okay. To their own little, you know, um, to their own little, you know, thing. Style. Yeah, yeah. And this is, this is one um, track called Scallops, and it's a pretty good track. And, you know, I have it in. It's a it's a really nice track and the two guys from DC who did the Shaolin Jazz where they mix Wu Tang and Blue No Arts Records and Wu Tang and Jimi Hendrix and Wu Tang and Beatles. I mean, you know. And when is that concert next Saturday, right? No, this Friday. Oh, this Friday. This Friday. Yes. Forty five dollars, people. Forty five. All right. Speaking of Buster Rounds, I got some Buster Rounds up right now. She said that jump over already. Yeah, that was just a little quick freestyle. Oh wow, damn! That was the first time I heard that song. Okay, that's I've heard what's of up. the I've heard the um the saying ham. Do you, yeah, you know, well, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we won't get into that. <laughs> no, I was about to say like you know originally, you know when they say like hard or you yeah. know hard as a mofo, you know somebody had told me he's like well originally that slang meant you know from the from the biblical sense with ham when ham went crazy. You heard about oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you know when people would go hard and just go crazy. Uh. Yeah, I was like okay, they taking it back to the church. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> People so, get real deep with things like that. I that's think. the beauty of slang, though. You know what I'm saying? It could be, uh, it could be translated anything. so many different ways. You know what I'm saying? You can make I got another there. quick uh, track before we get into the top. Well, I ain't going to say top, but the five reggae slash hip hop tracks that should have never been made. This is Pat Poose and Young Chris. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're back waiting on uh, Super Tan to come up in the building. I had to refresh my tea. You know, fighting off Order. the sinuses. Yeah, so that was Pat Poose, one of my right hand mans. Like I, I really mess with Pat Poose on the underground. Yeah, the underground. I like Pat Poose. If, if you even want to, I don't know. Can we call him underground? Like, I, as far as I'm concerned, he's out there. Yeah, he's it's out just there. Just a lot of people don't really know about him. And of course, Young Chris Philly's own. So, are you uh, almost ready with your documentation? I got my stuff right here. Okay, so we ready. This is five. I'm going to do hip-hop, she'll do reggae, songs that should have never been made. <laughs> Let's, uh, we'll just go back and forth on it. I'll start it off. Okay. Yin Yang Twins, Whisper Song. What? That's one of my favorites. No. Nah, <laughs> no. Nah, I, I hate that. Hey, little mama. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about that. See, I'm surprised that you would even. That is like, my joy. Yo, I'll if anything, that. that should be the BS. Now, I'm going to do my uh, just... SMH. At mm. that's at her liking that track. If you ain't lived down south and weren't there from the gate, you won't understand. It's like it's like it's just like me saying I don't really listen to Lil Wayne like that, but like I was there from the gate, so I appreciate him. So I appreciate Yin Yang. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well you keep on appreciating. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Uh what's your drink? Um my uh, number five on my list is Shaggy's Church Church Heathen, the night before. Now, this song is like the epitome of contradiction. It's a song about you know people gossiping in the church and i guess he's trying to send a message like i guess it's wrong for these people to be going going to the club the night before and then going to church and they just Uh worrying about other people's business 
But yet the this particular video, he shot two videos, but this particular video has all these people dancing in the club, having a great time. There's no repercussions. It's just like he's talking about how on the video of that song. Yeah. It's talking about how how this is foolishness, mm -hmm. but yet the video doesn't match what the song is really about, and the song is just the song has a catchy oh, beat to it. So does oh okay. So he basically made a dance hall track for people who are gonna probably actually go to the club and then go to church next day, and I'm like, really, Shaggy? <laughs> really? So that so that's on the list just based on principles and, mm -hmm. and, and logic alone. Oh my gosh! <laughs> guess like, try again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh. Well, you knew this boy was going to make it on the list somehow, some way. Soldier, Soldier Boy with Yah. I don't have a lot of a lot to say about it, like how she went into a whole lot. All you got to do is listen to the title of that, and uh, that's why it's on the list. Huh. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you listen to, if you actually sat there and listened to it, you might be in critical condition right now. But that's uh Dang, you make me want to do a yin yang twin special now <laughs> oh man With so wild, you i was liking her show until she said that <laughs> yeah, don't <laughs> oh, man. oh that bring it back all right number four um on my um reggae songs that the worst reggae songs snow informer now i know inform yes now that what that's see see and that's where we're gonna go back and i'm gonna be shaking my head because really the look the patois was horrendous and i don't even speak patois like that and i could and i understand most of it i couldn't understand anything and then he delivers the worst line and probably one of the worst lines in in any kind of song i lick your boom boom down down hmm. what is going on with you snow <laughs> the, and, 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 and never mind the video it's just shots of girls grinding and then shots behind the bar and then him going like this what is going on in sounds this like a, a yin yang twins video you know what i'm saying well no yin yang twins has a story there is a story with there ain't this. no story with there that. Is a story <laughs> <laughs> they are geniuses <laughs> yeah, right. i can't believe she just two said, people one mind <laughs> I, I just can't believe she said uh the snow all right were you done with that one yeah. all right surprisingly i got a ll cool j joint on here <laughs> <laughs> not surprised. I'm not surprised. You're not really that surprised. No, he's dropped some cor some corny stuff. Go yeah. Ahead. <laughs> LL Cool J Paradise. You remember that track? Nah, that was probably was it during the Goat Days? It was the after. Greatest? It was actually after the Goat. Oh, days. yeah. No yeah. wonder. <laughs> that song is uh, it's bad to listen to. <laughs> it got Am. What's her name? Anne Marie. That's her name, right? Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Yeah. And yeah, it got her on there. It, that song is just bad, and the video was horrible. It was just a crazy, uh, <laughs> it was a monstrosity of a track that shouldn't have been created. Okay. What we got on, on your side of the All right, board. number three. And um, this is a, you know, hip-hop collab. This is a, a song that was on a mixtape that I guess it was promoting Nicki Minaj. Mm. So this is Trina featuring Nicki Minaj and Lady Saw with Dangalang. Mm. Now, the concept of this song is that these three young ladies... <laughs> They have their house, their keys, they have everything, but they all they want from that man is his dangling. Uh, this is a poor example of trying to do a crossover with like a reggae artist and um, some female and female hip hop artist. And I'm just saying the concept is really weak. Try again, because I I love Trina. I used to love Trina back in the day. And oh, what? yeah, like back in the day, back in the day, Trina, she was really good. I haven't really like how far back. Like pull you know, over. Yeah, pull over. Yeah, and bad as be back in the day, but. Now I, she kind of lost me on kind of stuff. It's like, come on, let's let's do something different. So that's crazy. Like I always thought that because when you said Trina, I was like, oh man, I see why it's on the list. I don't really mess with Trina. I don't see Trina don't got no lyrical ability. Like what is she was about? she was good for what it was back in the day, but I really feel like she could have grown. You know grown her skills you know yeah picked she should have grown up like she like when she came out she was a baby with it you know what i'm saying and they're like you know because i'm the baddest being uh, yeah uh, she was throwing stuff around smashing that dude yeah yeah let's but do it i should have had trina on this list um, <laughs> <laughs> all right i got a uh, travis porter with bring it back one of the it's one of the newer joints that song <laughs> you probably like it right Trap no, I don't know who Travis Porter is. Oh, right. I don't know. It's one of them uh yin yang twin type type of tracks. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Why bring you ain't it no yin yang. Bring it back. Yeah. Psh, <laughs> man. I, I can't I don't know. I can't get into stuff like that. Why you ain't no yin 
<laughs> they get the I party started. I can't get into stuff like <laughs> they that. They get the party started. I'll let started. Little John slide. You know, I let certain people slide. Like I understand. Yeah, I love li- I love Little John. Yeah. I, I have I have both the two the two first albums. I, I let him slide. I didn't get crunk juice stuff. though. I didn't get crunk juice. No, thank you. I, crunk juice. That's the. I didn't get that one. I don't know if I got that one. But you know when I stopped liking uh, Lil John when he came out with that, uh, what was that? Was it? It was a snap or something. Oh right? man, that was my issue. Don't even know. I knew no, she was going no, like something no, like that. That's no. crazy. What's going on here? That's crazy. Yo, you gotta remember. See, this is the thing. You gotta really remember. Certain songs come out in certain time and certain people's time in their lives. And so those were party songs. And when those songs came out, I was in college. I was a freshman in college. So and I went anything to anything that came on was, was sounded good to you. At well, that time. well, and then you gotta remember I listened to those people when I was younger down south. So to still hear little John like being up on there and then being like ten percent of the minority at college, you know what I'm saying? We had the party and the house party. Do we snapping our right. fingers to ourselves? Okay, so it was uh so I all right I, I Cause, it you was know, like a solidarity. But then you gotta realize, really, really, well, you know, well, well, that's another thing. Little John actually does really good produce, pro, um, production work. Yes, like he, he does. He's really good. That's why I like Little John. Like his beats and all that is yeah, crazy. Yeah, like he was. Yeah. And like I said, I listen to. I, well, I did listen to Little John. But even if I like somebody, if they come out with something whack, I can still acknowledge that is whack. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no 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 doubt no yeah. doubt. Oh he's come out with some whack stuff. No, not you know. Just snap your finger, John. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's your next Over one? 10 million sold. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, well, you know. so so <laughs> number two on my list is uh, Beanie Man featuring the Angel, Time of My Life. Now, this is um, epitome of how every, you know, reggae people, we always like to do um, remixes or refixes of classic songs. Him, the time of my life. Yeah, that oh, song. Yeah. Auto-tune. That's all I can say. Auto-tuned yeah. all the way through. And if you watch the video, it's like Beanie Man is a captain on a boat with the girl. Beanie Man and the girl in a in a field with a church in the background. Beanie Man and this chick in some random room. It was just and it was green screened out. It was just the worst all the way oh, around. It, and and and, it, and then like randomly in the beginning, there's like some baby <laughs> in a suit and he's like doing some kind of voiceover thing. And I'm like, whose child is that? They had the little Wayne uh, baby that be on this uh, <laughs> yeah, album. You know covers. what I'm saying? Get the baby out the film. I know he did the voiceover. You ain't gotta put him in the video. Just keep him. Keep the voiceover. Like it was. It was just all over the place. I was like, Beanie Man, come on. And I met Beanie Man before too. How was that meeting? Oh, it was great. And wash he I he stepped off the stage at Wall Street International, and then and and I was in the VIP, and then walked past him, and he said, um, you know, I was like, good show, Beanie Man. He was like, thanks, baby, and he rubbed my face. I didn't wash my face for like three days. He rubbed your face? Yeah, he was like, thanks, baby, because I was holding his hand. He oh, okay. Like, I was like, oh, baby, man. <laughs> <laughs> she melted right there. I did. Okay. Uh, right there. Next. I just want to point out I wasn't going in no particular order. But next on my list and final for tonight is 50 Cent, just a little bit. You like it, don't you? No. Oh, all right. We got a winner. 50 Cent, just a little bit. I think that John is whack. Like... <laughs> When the beat come on, it's just nothing about that song that that grabs me, excites me in any type of way. That's one of the tracks, and this is how I put my list together. Actually, like I was thinking of what songs would come on the radio, and as soon as I would hear like one note, I would automatically turn it. So that was definitely one. As soon as I hear, do 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 do, and it's on the next uh, <laughs> yummy. Okay, and last but not least. My top worst reggae song, and you know, you know, I may get some flack for this, but "Boom Bye Bye" by Buju Bantan. Now, I love Buju Bantan, and I know that he doesn't perform that song, but I say it's the worst song because this song is the epitome of how, um, if you, you, everybody has their opinion. And granted, Buju made that when he was like 15 years old, and that's like a song that's over, you know, over a decade old. But this is a song that where you know, your personal views could ruin your career. And because of that song and how popular it became back in the days in the 90s, when it, I guess it was okay to have like anti-gay songs playing in the dance hall and, and here in the States, it was all right. But now, it's so, totally taboo. And this song, I mean, you got to listen to this. You, yeah, I'll let I'm you, wondering. Like, this song, this song is, well, the song originally was made because there was this, it was, it was a, a famous um, case in, on the island's some man had raped this little boy. And so he had made this song, basically like murder this this dude, you know, oh. and you know, all this kind of stuff. But this song, it's just the worst because it shows 
every time somebody's like, oh, well, reggae music is so, you know, anti-gay and, and, you know, just hurtful to all this kind of stuff. Everybody pulls the song out their, out their butt. And oh, all right. It, so he kind of gave a lot of it the bad, a bad name. Well, gave- I mean... I mean the song. Well, actually, the American DJs did because they're the ones who picked it up and gave it so many spins, you know. And it could have just stayed on the island, you know. what I'm saying, like I said, everybody's opinion to the uh, titles to their opinion, but mm-hmm. it's it's just one. It's like the worst songs, one of the ugliest she said songs. The American DJs. Yeah, let's let's. let's I mean, let's be real because you know you got to think about it. Like all the reggae stuff that comes out into the states, it takes a while. Like you remember Sean Paul, like Blue. Yeah. That song was like two years old on the island before it hit here, and but but we but when they dropped it here, it was like oh the newest thing. So you got to realize. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I was hearing that Sean Paul was like already. He was already famous over there. Yeah. So. I mess with Sean Paul. Mm-hmm. What, what's your what's your views on Sean Paul? I like Sean, Sean Paul. Paul. He's cool. Yeah. Wayne Wonder. Love Wayne Wonder. He grew Wayne up where Wonder my mom grew man. up. Big shout outs to people from Port Antonio. Port Antonio. <laughs> we got a couple minutes. We got uh. G John calling up. If you want to hurry up and get your what makes you SMH on real quick, 267-535-3930. And uh what's going on on that side on Twitter, Facebook, uh oh, I- MySpace? Any of the uh, internet apparatuses you got going on over oh, there? Oh, I just got linked up on the HD stream. I'm about to hook some more stuff up later okay, on. Okay, so it's in the progress. Yeah, yeah, I just told people that I'm on here that way. We can pull some more people in, you know, tell them, you know, because we were promoting on Facebook earlier. Yeah. Um, hey, can I do a big sh- uh, a shout out to some of my friends? Um, Absolutely. You know, plug something. If anybody's listening out there and you want to get your uh, party on, third Fridays at the Blue at, um, the Red House, it's at Ridge and, uh, Ridge and Malvern. It's a BYOB. $5 to get in, but $4 if you're on the list. But basically, it's a time where you can go meet up with creative, other creative people. There's a bonfire. There's music. Um, there's a girl named DJ or DJ Aura who spins on the ones and twos in the basement. It's just, and it's at, um, like I said, the Red House. My friends, Blue and Dahlia, they uh, actually do, you know, clothing, and it's a boutique in there. But it's so much fun, and you bring your own bottle. I'm telling you, I don't know how many times that I've been to that place and I got drunk. I mean, just by people. Just hanging around, chilling, and we just partying, having a good time. And it's, you know, eases the pressure off of going to a club. But, you know, come out third Fridays, you know, blue at the Red House, Ridge and Millville. You know, hit me up at uh, Super Tang or Yard to Yard for more details on that. But, yes. All right. Are you on the list? Of course. Well, I don't need to be on the list. They just let me in. So. <laughs> All right. I feel that. <laughs> that's, the, that's called VI. That's even better than VIP then, right? That's like <laughs> you up there with the people that's giving them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> right, I know cool. them. <laughs> yeah. Promote that yard to yard one more time. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if anybody wants to listen to some, like, reggae and um, some hip-hop from independent mainstream artists, you know, follow, you know, listen to me every Saturday from 4.30 to 7 right here on Starline Radio. Play a whole bunch of people out with Rosie, Ziggy, uh, uh, Ziggy Ricardo, um, Sensi Love, who is Bunny Ricky w- Ricardo, Ziggy Ricardo. Oh, okay. Um, and Sensi Love, who is actually Bunny Whaler's daughter, she has an, a phenomenal voice, and she she did a couple of tracks with Capleton, and you know, people from around here too. So tune in. All right. I'm sure I'm more much more interesting. <laughs> All right. While we waiting on uh, G on the call, I'm gonna hit y'all with this track by Mega Red real quick. This is N's remix. She like the way I spend yeah. and she'll get all my ends. Yeah, that was Omega Red with ends remix featuring detail. Something very hot. Uh he's burning up the under the underground yeah. tip. He got a video for that jump. And all the stuff he do is look real professional, is sound professional, so he's really on the come up from New York. Shout out to uh, Omega Red. Sweet. We got uh, G. John calling up in a few seconds. Nice. I'm over here doing statuses and posts. What's going on on that side of the world? Ain't nothing, man. Breaking stuff? No, no, no. The mic was just. <laughs> the mic was just acting up right, right here. No doubt. Making Christmas plans. How's everybody doing with Christmas? Hope everybody's gonna have a good um, holiday. Speaking of Christmas, we got some Christmas specials coming up, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, my God. So, yeah, this Saturday is going to be the hip-hop um, Christmas special on Yard to Yard. Oh, there she go. There it goes. Oh, all right. I couldn't even hear it. Sweet. Next level show. Hey, what's up? What's up, MC? What's going on? I got Super Tang in the building with me, helping me hold the show down tonight. 
Peace, peace. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so this is G. John, Philly vocal sensation, doing a lot of things. Tell us what you got, what you got going on right now. Well, I got this new song coming out. Um, you know, it's a remix by Drake. So okay. I'm trying to bring that out. There's a mixtape, so hopefully I get all everything out the way, so I can do my other album. You know, so I get everything settled. All right, that's what's up. How many uh, how many years you been laying those vocals down? It's been, I say it's been like at least nine, eight, eight years. Eight, nine years? Mm. That's yeah. cool. Hey, Super Tank. Yes, what's up? You got anything you want to ask, Gigi? Um, You know, what, what's your style? What's your particular style that you do? Um. I do everything. I'm a multi-talented person. Like, I, um, I rap, sing, produce. I do everything. Um, oh, yeah, she do make beats. Good somebody beats. let me. But I don't think I'm going to do country. But um, I do, you know, I put time in, in my work. So I do everything. So for this particular mixtape that you're about to drop, is it just going to be, like, um, straight hip-hop? Are you going to just be rhyming or, rhyming, or are you going to um, do a little bit of everything that you do on this mixtape? Well, it's straight up um, hip-hop. It's straight hip-hop, um, you know, a little... Little rapping here and there, but okay. you know, it's, I'm I'm a surprise person. I, I like to surprise people. You know, that's cool. So, yeah. do we have any idea of around when that probably would be coming out? Excuse me. Do we have any sort of idea or you know suspicions of when that might be coming out? Um, I say, I say by next. Actually, in January. In okay. January, it should be out on the 14th. Sweet. Because I'm work right now. I've been it's been a little. Now I'm, I'm back on my feet, getting everything together. So it's it's going to come out January on the 14th. All right. So you gotta make sure you're gonna have to get that. All right. I got one more question before we get into what you about to do, and that is for an up and coming female hip hop producing rapping extraordinaire. What are some of the challenges that you know you encounter? So that you can, you know, let other up and coming females that's trying to get into the business, you know, let them know things to look out for. Well, for real, for real, you are you are always try to do, try to do you. You know, it's really hard to find. Like me, it's it's hard to find people, you know, to help you and push you to where you gotta go. I mean, but if you're really serious about doing what you want to do, you gotta push yourself. That's the only only way you can be serious. Only way people can take you serious if you do it yourself. Push yourself you know, towards your goals. You know, it's hard, but sometimes that's what you got to do, you know, to be to motivate yourself so you can be successful, you know. All right. I so, feel that. You got anything yeah. else you want to ask before we get into this uh, showcase? All right. We're about to uh, let you do your thing real quick. All right. Just make sure it's clean. Uh, most definitely. <laughs> Say she's your best friend And she's the only one in your ear I know that she's been waiting To get myself right out of here It's been a couple months now And baby I'm not surprised But I'm a real sister well, how you gonna take it sad that if I, that's my thing, you won't act like that. You miss giving me been back. Boy, you remember that, remember that, baby. And I'll be, if I let her take my place. Don't listen to what the ladies say, yeah, cause... She just saying you can do better And baby, all I'm saying is that she sound like a hater And maybe we can just mess up and do them a favor My your business, lady stop being a hater Oh no But that's all I got right here Okay, okay I'm feeling I can, that I can, I can. I can hear the instrumental, but I can't hear. I can't hear it as well. So, all right, it's all good. Know, hopefully, when I come to the show, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tear it up. I'm gonna just tear it up for the room. <laughs> all right, that's what's up, man. I appreciate what you just did. 
yeah. let the people know where we can find you at on the uh, internet thing there. Well, you can find me on Facebook, you know, GabbyCroxton.com. You know, I'm on there on on YouTube. I'm not YouTube yet. YouTube, the Philly C. Go to the Philly C. Um, okay. Twitter, go to Felicia Croxton, aka CC. Um, and y'all can link me up anywhere. This. Hit me up, you know, y'all want to have questions about the CD, about what's coming up, you know, or other artists that I'm on, on other people's CDs. I mean, y'all can always find me on Facebook and everywhere, so. That's cool. And you might even be on the next level show from time to time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Right. And you know, I got, and you know, my next one I'm about to do, you know I'm going to have that special, special, special person going to be featured on my CD, and that's. You know, that's the man MC. That's the man MC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I appreciate that. Yeah, right. give my man some props. You know, my applause goes to you anyway, MC. You know. All right. No doubt. I appreciate that. And right back to you. Thanks for calling up. Thank you. All right. Be blessed. So that was G John. She, see, she seems so sweet. I can't. I want to come back and I want to at least watch that show when she comes back. Um, yeah, make sure you only watch that one. It's just I'm only gonna just watch that one. <laughs> like, just let me know when that yeah, one comes on. Yeah, no doubt. Any other like, days? Yeah, I'm gonna make sure I watch when uh. So I don't mess with you. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that was G Jones. She came through and did with. I said she was gonna come through and do. Hmm. And that's what it is. What we got coming up next? Since it's getting ready to be eight o'clock. Oh, so yeah. Um. You wanted me to play some reggae for the people because I know like your audience probably doesn't get a chance to listen to a lot of reggae. You know, that's fine. You deprive them of the... <laughs> I <deprive laughs> you deprive them. You know, that's fine. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play some lively up reggae. I'm going to play uh, something from the Santiago Rhythm. And one of my favorite. when I read this, I was like, of course I'm going to play this Sour Diesel uh, Rhythm. So, you know, anybody who's, who's big, you know, loves the, the reggae... Sour Diesel Rhythm. Yes. And... <laughs> So if you guys like to jump up and, and and get your groove on, definitely this is the time to all your peoples to come up into the room and, you know, some live up reggae. It's probably going to be like, a, you know, about 10, 12 minutes worth of some dance all. So, yes, people. So, yeah, Santiago rhythm and the uh, the Sour Diesel rhythm. No doubt. And after that, get done. 267-535-3930. Make sure y'all call up. Let us know what makes you SMH. Yes, yes, people, that was the Sour Diesel Rhythm. And before that was the Santiago Rhythm. Yes, people, so that's what I do. Y'all to y'all, keep it live. You know what I'm saying? I got a question, though. Uh, 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 uh. This beat is heavy. Pull up! On the Beanie Man one, my my Basel, is that what it's? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, we're just yo, me. Jama- yo, Jamaicans be making up so many other. They be making up slang. They don't even know. Like, oh, alright. It's slang for slang. Okay. Because when he was saying my Basel, I'm like, alright, I like it. I just wanted to know what it was. That's all. You know, never do, and, and even if they and see this is the thing this is the thing with, with, with Caribbean people. They will explain a slang word to you with slang. Uh. So they use another slang word to describe that one. But that John man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and you be like, hmm? uh. like what? I like, got you. Let's switch places now. Okay, no doubt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like uh, case in point case in point i remember i asked my grandmother i said grandma i was like i said what is what is what does dry foot pick me mean <laughs> and she just said i mean she had dusty gal and i was like what does that mean you can't you can't just say you can't She's say you can't say two different slang words to me and not explain what they really mean <laughs> in english english i mean i know they speak english but come on Come on, Grandma. They actually say English, English too, right? English, yeah. I mean, because yeah, you got to really, well, see, like my grandmother, she's seventy-one, so she was there before Jamaica was independent. So, um, I mean, they spoke proper English. I mean, it was just the accent. So, 
I mean, but but you, I mean, you. Yeah, yeah. It's the accent. They actually talk English, right? But yeah, it's English. Do... It's English. Like she, the way she kind of describes it, it's just like some of the stuff that you hear in dance hall, like the way that they talk a little bit. That slang, it's just slang or like street talk or just the same way, like in the hip hop culture or even in country or anything else. It's just a certain type of language, but it's slang. You know what I'm saying? Like I know in London, they got. They got like the English, 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 and you got yeah. people who speak Cockney, which is they think is kind of like you're you're yeah. kind of from from the slums type of thing, and you know that broken English. So there you go. Got you, my Basel. I like that. I'm I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> like there's one song called a Dugu song that Egyptian made. A Dugu 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 Dugu. Yeah, How you make spell a Dugu. D U G G U. Wow, that's and and basically <laughs> it just means I just want to have relations with you. Like that's basically mm. what Dugu mean. I'm like I'm like really though. Like y'all couldn't just stick with it. You can't go wrong when you make up your own words. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe you know some hip hop people should start doing that so she can start saying it's trash. Some of it's trash. Mm -hmm. Don't be mad because I got an opinion <laughs> no, about it. No, I ain't mad. Because I ain't riding to the wheels. You mad because I like Yin Yang Twins. It whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am mad about that. I ain't going Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of trash out there. Waka Flocka. Although, he do got one track, the uh, No Hands. I'll, I'll give him. You don't like that? You don't like it? Is that a... <laughs> I'm laughing because I can you know, just like how you laughed at me at Yin Yang. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like Waka Flocka, though, but... I think it's. I think why would I? Why would I support somebody named Waka Flocka? Seriously, hey mom, can you buy me that new Waka Flocka <laughs> CD? Like that. Hmm. It sounds like a good time for some Waka Flocka. That sounds so like I. I can't. From the Muppets. You know what I'm saying? From that Muppets uh, thing. That's where you got that from. <laughs> so retarded. <laughs> I mean, you got the Gucci man. You got all. You got all these. Yeah, Gucci man got people tattooing themselves with Gucci on their face. That's the. That's the. Foolish. Anyway, <laughs> and you want to talk about some? Yeah, all right. Oh, I didn't say these people were role models. I don't like. No, I didn't anyway. say that. I'm just saying yeah. you want me to listen to that, like talk about that ish. I will admit I did do the Superman once, but he was at a house party and I was drunk, so that's the only song I'll give him because he ain't saying nothing on there. But it was the way that that oh, beat was. You know what song that makes me laugh every time? And I was that <laughs> racks. Oh, <laughs> no, I like, no. What is he saying? <laughs> What is it? Put the beat on. I can do it. <laughs> Give me millions. I got racks yeah. on racks on racks. Yeah, I like that song. But he's I'm making sound noise. He's just making noises. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that uh, I wouldn't like nothing else that he did. Like He made other things. I mean, not yet, but I'm sure when he does start coming out. He a new boy. He a new boy. He, so don't, come out he don't need to come out with anything else. <laughs> It is funny because I have a so it's a re it's a uh, um it's a remix with rat uh with with you know with a MC or was it young what's what's his name YC whatever his name is the racks on uh -huh. racks on board. and um I forget who who's on the track but I think it's Beanie Man or something like that I forget but it's it's a reggae remix to it and the reggae remix sounds way better than the original one I bet it do and I put it I played it one day for a party but I just cut out. YC's part and just played the reggae part. I was like, "Y'all was jamming." Yeah, because we can't understand what he's saying. Like, so there we go with that. Well, true. Most of the people can't understand what they're saying either, because it's a different language. I mean, he's supposed to supposedly supposed to be speaking English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, true that. <laughs> I mean, you gotta you gotta figure it. these are island uh -huh. folks. These are island folks. But she she like the people that be like, huh? <laughs> but we can understand them. You know I saying? can't understand that. What's huh? What's all that? He's saying huh. No, he ain't saying. He's huh. saying huh. Nah. He's saying huh. But in 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 the twang, you don't see. You don't understand. In the see, she no, she can bend the rules. You don't for understand. Certain, no, you don't understand. Certain artists, she, she'll bend the rules. Somebody better eat this chicken before I fight them over for it because <laughs> <laughs> it's just sitting there. <laughs> <But> <laughs> <anybody>. <laughs> Let's, let's get it back. <laughs> let's get it back to hip hop in about 15 minutes. We'll be debuting the underground track of the week. Next level shows underground Shit track of the so week. Good, make you want to slap your mama. <laughs> we got Bob. I'll be in the sky. Yeah, that was the Bob. I'll be in the sky. We was uh, doing comparisons, if you will, 
with hundreds of thousands of them. Yeah. You understand, like, a lot of these artists, some of these artists out here today, I've been rocking with them, like, from the gate when, like, they were young, when they were just starting out. You gotta understand, I grew up down south in Huntsville, Alabama, so mm -hmm. marching bands, everything, so a lot of these people, you know, the bands down there, they played that live in stadiums at football games and so i kind of understand like their creativity like on such a different level like CeeLo green like i loved him back like in the day green. you know back in the day when he was with, with them mob. with goody mob I and like, then like and, and i still love what he does still to this day I even mean, though it's a it's way different than what he does i still appreciate you know what they do i mean some people I'm with you on that. some people some people be look let's just be real some people be on that bs sometimes and i just yeah. be like really though but some people they do what they have to do to stay in this industry but you can tell that it's them shining through in their music. So, like, I haven't really listened to a lot of stuff that Andre 3000 has put out in a while since I want to, and, and I'm not going to lie, since um, Love Below, since Love Below and Speaker Box, I have not listened to much of anything that was Outcast. And, um, and it's funny because I actually enjoy Love Below better than Speaker Box. And I think I, I have a bias. I think I had a bias for such a long time. And I'm actually going to go back and listen to Speaker Box because um, I heard recently i heard a couple cuts from it and i was like where what was this from and they were like speaker box and i was like wow but you they slept on it yeah but you got to realize the um cr the way that they were pushing andre because of the yeah. hey y'all i yeah, mean hey y'all was all that but i mean honestly like i that was i mean he he has a way of creating a story like with yeah. his music i like how he did it like on, on like on some vintage mm -hmm. like you seen the video and everything yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like well you know it was for um that movie um the, oh, the idlewild yeah it was for idlewild you remember some of the songs were on um idlewild from off of there from love below yeah there was a song there was um it was kind of inspired around there but i think there was like a song from but love that idlewild stuff that was like from the twin that was like set in like the 20s 30s type of genre right yeah but i don't know on, what on, uh huh i said i don't know for all right we'll, I i'll yeah. look it up in don't get me the line i won't <laughs> but, lie I see them people swing dancing on, on yeah. the Idle Wide John, like the with the 40s. long dresses and stuff like that. But, yeah, so <laughs> but Google it. <laughs> on the Hey Ya yeah, John, I'm getting I got like a like a maybe a seven uh sixties type of seventies type of drink, like maybe when the Temptations yeah. was doing their thing because he was like ice cold and all that, <laughs> and he was doing it. He had the, the background singers and stuff. That like song that. was that one. Didn't that come out like in two thousand one? That came uh, out like or yeah, son, it I, came out two thousand one. No, 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 no. I, it came out later than that. You talking about the Hey Ya? Hey Ya, yeah. That was a big song around the around some kind of like New Year's. I remember it was coming out. Cause I know Stan Con I think Stankonia came out around that time. No, Stankonia, really? Yeah. Let's no. Google Wikipedia. Hey, can I do a shout out? We do yeah. shout out. Big shout outs to my boy uh, Richard Ra. Yes, he is listening in to the show. Um, he is an amazing MC. He is from Delaware, and he just released an album called The Renaissance. And um, he is phenomenal. I've actually had a, had the pleasure of hearing you know Richard Ra back in the day when I was like 19, 20. You know, I'm 25 now, but still like at, in ciphers and at shows and whatnot. And um, I play a couple of tracks. He has this really nice song called Backseat Love. Maybe we can we play that after I do the uh, the tips. Tips, uh, tips on getting the t uh, tail segment. Oh, yeah. yeah, I would love to play that song. So peace to you, Richard Raw, for uh, tuning in to the show. Yeah, that's that's what's definitely what's up. And pick up the album, The Renaissance. It is dope, and you can get some knowledge and shake your booty to it. Where can they pick that up at? Do you? Um, where can hey, if you're listening? Well, you are listening, Richard Raw. Where can they pick up the album? I know they can probably hit you up on Facebook. Yeah, he's typing now. Look at this real time. Look at this. YouTube. Just go to YouTube. You want them to rip it? You want them to just. Or Amazon. Okay, no, Richard Raw. He can go to richardraw.com. Um, you can go to Amazon and type in Richard Raw and get his music, or you can watch the videos on YouTube. All right. Or you can dial 267 and tell the people yourself to request it. To request it and. You know exactly all the other things that you just yeah, said. Yeah, so but it'll come right from the artist. Oh, and 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 iTunes as well. So yeah, big ups to yo. You all over the place, yo. I'm trying to get you some money. Let's do this. Let's. <laughs> no doubt. And Stan Conia came out in 2000, so I okay, was right. So it was a year before, yeah. And uh, Speaker Box Love Below came out 03. Okay, so when did um? September 23rd, 03. Okay, yeah, because I know it was like around um New Year's. Yeah, because when I it was I first moved here and I, and it was around New Year's and they were just playing it. It was like and the Idle biggest. Idlewild came out after that. Actually, it was like the biggest. It was like the biggest hit ever, all over the place. Yeah, so. No doubt. Outcasts. No diggity, no doubt. 
So we got a couple more minutes before I get into the underground track of the week. You want to know what makes me shake my head? Yeah. People who be intentionally lying on Facebook, and they got all these friends, and they be lying on their little, they be lying on whatever they saying, and and then get mad when people call them out on Facebook. For real? Yes, like I see that all the time. Like people, they front, they front on Facebook, like like they doing big things, knowing that they're not doing big things. That makes me shake my head because it's just like these are all your people that you hang out with. They gonna know that you're lying. Why are you trying to be this way? Yeah, that's one. That's just one of mine. Yeah, I something like that happened uh, not on Facebook though, but it actually happened in real life. And I hear these dudes, they at work, <laughs> mm-hmm. and they like they was making it seem like they was at work by their choice. Like, yeah, you know, I only do this, John, you know, because it's it's easy. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I I really could be over here somewhere doing this and doing that. And I'm like, so you choose to be making minimum wage right yeah, now yeah, to be real? doing what you're doing, really? Just because it's fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't be believe- them fries. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, let me get into this old school drink real quick. Heavy D and the boys. <laughs> now, now found Rest in peace. Yes. I love this shit. Yeah. Oh, now boy. that we found love, what are we gonna do? I don't know. I got a banging reggae version of that from a third world. Oh, yeah. For yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not sure if that got released before this ha- or around the same time, but yeah, it's the same thing. It's dope. That's what's up. You the got openness. everything on the flip side. You know what that's what's up. That's how, that's how we do send, it. Yeah, we got to send some of them things over. That's how we do it in Caribbean islands. We just take songs over. We could do it better. That's how we do it. We could do it better. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Shout out to the whole Caribbean. So you was born over there? No. I was born in Germany. Okay, it was a long trip, right? You went all over the world, right? No, my parents were in the military, so I was born in Germany, lived in Hawaii. Wow. Lived in Florida for a year. Been living here for about 10 years. It'll come 10 years this uh, this December, well, the end of this December, and um, lived in Huntsville, Alabama for about 10 years, so. And then moved up here? Yeah, yeah. Like, you too young to be saying you've been here 10 years, here 10 years. <laughs> I know, right? Like, <laughs> it makes you sound like you, like, real old. Like, yeah, I was there for about 15 years. Then I moved up yeah, uh, Huntsville, Alabama. I was there for, like, After 25. I did my tenure, you know, yeah. over here, I had to. I'm like, that. like, what's going on? That's just, that's the life. And I got more, I got, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot more years to go to be traveling. I'm trying to live in, like, Europe somewhere. I want to live, go back to Germany. I don't remember it. We left when I was three, so I'm trying to go back there. No doubt, no diggity, and no doubt. So I'm about to get into the next level show underground track of the week. This is a uh, Black Cancer. I came up. Crack, crack. Yeah, yeah, that was the Black Cancer. I came up. Shout out to Black Cancer for Where's sending that thing in. Philly. What part of Philly? I'm not. I'm actually. Not wow, here. you didn't ask him what part he was rapping. He could be from. Could even not be even from Philly. From He's like, from Philly. Could be from like Chester or something. Call up Black Cancer and, <laughs> no, and bust her stone. I am just playing cancer. Bust her stone. I'm just playing cancer. So uh, before we get into this next thing that we're doing here, what's up? Wanted to give y'all another SMH moment for me. Shaking my head when <laughs> you know these guys are wearing. Pants that are the same size as their girls' pants. Mm mm. Mm mm. They need to not do that. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's something that I shake my head at all the time. Almost <laughs> on a damn near on a daily basis, I got to shake my head at that. <laughs> uh, I see it, it. It's very uh prevalent these days. You know what makes me shake my head? What's that? Okay, so. I look. I have nothing against you know extensions and things like that because I used to wear extensions for what it's what it's used for but mm. what makes me shake my head is oh somebody's calling in somebody was calling in all right but they hung up so they'll call back um what really makes and me it, shake my head is is the fact that like there'll be some some girls knowingly got the silkiest there we go silkiest hair and they stuff is taco meat <laughs> oh man you be like really? You not fooling nobody. You were not fool. You ain't no amount of gel. <laughs> it's going to Next slick level it down. show. All right, what's going on? What's up? Who we got on the line? All right. 
You hear me live. This black cancer. See? I'm from South Philly, y'all. Yeah, South okay. Philly. South, South Philly. You, South, you, South Philly, no, baby. No, no, because <laughs> no, I'm putting him on the spot because he didn't know where you was coming from. I wasn't from. on the spot. He's he like, I don't know what kind of part of Philly. I'm like, come on. Got rent where you from. I'm just saying. The man sent me the, the, the MP3. <laughs> he didn't say, yeah, man. Shout out to y'all, though. Thanks for playing my track <laughs> yeah. tonight. You know what I mean? It was a last minute thing, too. So people, it wasn't. But see, I ask people anytime somebody like, yo, where you from? All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like he doesn't care, Black Cancer. He doesn't care where you're from. See, I <laughs> care. It ain't that I don't care. I'm gonna set up an interview with the man <laughs> one of these days. It's just that this was a last minute thing. Yard to yard cares. <laughs> All right. Shout out to Yard to Yard every Saturday. What what's the What's the time limit on? Four thirty to seven, playing the best in reggae and hip hop. Nah, man. Okay. But uh, thanks for uh, thanks for sending that thing through. What was your inspiration and your thought process in creating that track? Um, you know, I already was doing like the whole whispering, whatever, not on some yin yang twin stuff. I just um Stop decided hate. to come up with it. I was sitting <laughs> down and whatever and the creative juices just started flowing. So that's how I came up with I came up besides the fact that I, I felt that way because, you know, I started doing better for myself. True. That's what's up. I appreciate that. What's up, uh right, Super Tan, you got any any questions? Cause you, Let's no. see how this. Let's not see right how the, now. Uh, not right now. This how the yard show. the yard do this it? Is your, this is your show. But but we got so, yard the yard I'm, in so, the house. You know what do you like to do in your free time? And <laughs> this is like a personal call. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I can answer that as well. I'm a rap and spoken word artist. So if I ain't writing, um, I'm going to school. I attend community. So you can okay. find me all over. Okay. Besides that, I'm doing shows and et cetera, et cetera. So you know, what I mean, I'm really trying to make a true come up. It, you know, the Who? song fits me in. Who would if once you get up to where you are, who would you love to do music with? Like, who would you like to do a collab with? Um, Kendrick Lamar. Okay. Um, I could give a whole list: Nas, mm. Jada Kiss, J, Nas, Eminem. Nice. The list yeah. goes on. Yin Yang Twins. Good artist. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> where do you see my? Oh man. Uh, you see, this, this is the thing. The reason why I like Yin Yang Twins is because they were like my generation's two live crew and like you know no, looking they on yeah they were because no, they weren't had, really come on like they, they was, wasn't I yes can't they was that. yes you don't understand you <laughs> weren't we there you weren't there you weren't there can, can we you weren't there at the that? parties you weren't there at the freak mix you weren't there you don't you know everything sounds good in the party man i was jamming the stuff in the club that I would never listen to. Hey, in the I'm gonna I'm I'm do a Yin Yang tribute show. Watch. I mean, watch like, me. It's different when you're in a party. Like you'll jam to anything that's banging. Watch me. Watch me. The happy hour mix is gonna be all Yin Yang twins. Like, you gonna be mad? People gonna be like, "Yo, that was my job back in the day, yo." <laughs> she gonna be like, "I shouldn't have did that show like that." But yeah, um, great. <laughs> Black Cancer. Let the people know where they can get in touch with you at and find your stuff. All right, it's uh, www.itsmyurls.com. Slash B L A C K C A N C R. That's Black Cancer. You can find all my social sites. Um, I'm with a spoken word team, uh, as known as On Point Inc., and that's consisting of uh, actors, poets, and rappers. And you can also find us on um, Facebook.com/slash On Point Inc. Okay. And that's about it. You know what I mean? I just put out a mixtape recently. It's called Black I'll Feed the Flames. You can find that on SoundClick. And if you click on the It's My URL's link, you'll be able to get everything you need, all types of information as well as my contact information. No doubt, no doubt. One more thing. I know a lot of people are wondering, <laughs> where did you get the name? I got the name from Black Cancer because it's, it's a, not only a dedication to my aunt, but it's a dedication to um, those in the world who have cancer. And aside from that, it's also my Zodiac sign because I was born on July the 3rd. So Holla. it's a... A deep interpretation to it. Okay. Yeah, that that definitely is deep. My uh grandparents died of cancer, I uh relate. I'm sorry, yeah, they got real serious. Yeah, yeah they that's <laughs> cancer look, cancer is no joke, seriously. All right, thanks for calling up, man. Side to me, and thanks for having me. All right, no nice. doubt we going I'm gonna have you on again. We're gonna set something up on the side and uh, you know, we'll have you in here. And whatnot. Damn, sh um, definitely shout out to Cashmere. You know what I mean? I know Cash or whatever. He team yeah. aired out, so definitely shout out to him. Cashmere all day. All right. Y'all <laughs> take right. it easy. Be safe out here. All right, you too, man. Peace. 
So, uh, Super Tank, it's about that time. Oh, well, yo, quick before we do that, my friend C-Rock, who's, all, who's like part of my creative team, just texted me, said, Now that we found love was a Harold and Melvin and the Blue Notes first recorded in the early 1970s, and Third World covered it in 1979, and then, of course, Heavy D and the Boys okay. laid it down. What was the first date? Um, 1970s, yeah. Okay. So they were the first ones to um, record it. So there we go, always coming back to Philly with, with the sound. I like that. That was a nice fun fact. Like you know, you fun just, fact. Thank you, see You get fun facts like that sent to you Heck like yeah, that. because that's how my team works it. That's how I my like person that. in the Poconos, he be goo goo doo doo and then be goo doo doo. All right, that's what's up. Yes. That's what happens when you got a lot of people working together. It's just only one person. It's just only one person. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> This is my first thing. She's being modest. She got a whole conglomerate yeah, over right. there all of right. things going on. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're going to act like it's about, uh, about one, two o'clock in the morning on a Friday, time. Saturday night. Oh, You're yeah. getting out of that club. Well, you ain't knocked the club yet. You just, you know, bought that drink ooh, ooh. for the young lady. Yes, you did. And uh, you bought it for a reason. Yes, you did, boy. You, you had something in the back of your mind when you bought it. In your mind. You didn't buy it just because you thought she was thirsty. She was a thirsty hoe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you bought that thing because you was thinking about what's going to happen after you get outside of the club. What's going to happen, girl? But before you do that, you need tips. Yes. On getting the draw. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, fellas. Uh, you know, so this is tips to get in the tail. Right. The first tip that I have for you guys and I'm breaking it down into this category because it's the holiday seasons and you know people are lonely and they mm-hmm. want to get a date you know what I'm saying so first thing is the first meeting so fellas when you're engaging with the woman who has caught your eye do something that would that she won't forget you know like drop a $10 bill on the ground right next to her or behind her then pretend that she dropped it and just be like did you drop this miss now, if you're at the bar, then you can just offer her, like, you know, oh, you know, if this ain't yours, you know, let me buy you a drink with it. And there you go. But if you're at, like, some kind of, you know, grocery store or, or out in the streets, you know, while if, she's, if she still, still say no, that it ain't her money, then why don't you suggest buying something for the both of you guys and make it, like, and laugh it off as something like, oh, we must be lucky. And then go on with the conversation because by then she'll, by then she'll think that you're a giving and interesting person. So that's the first meeting, just making a first really good first impression. Second is the phone date. <laughs> now, once you score the digits, now it's time to entice her with your over the phone skills. Keep it light and ask her about what she has to do that day. Now, don't get that confused with how is your day because you're not that at, you're not at that level to really care about her day and be emotionally invested. So don't ask if you really don't care. Okay, that's real deep. Though, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so, okay. by asking her a schedule, you already know you can fit in. You can fit. You already know where you can fit in without being a perv. So it's not like what you doing tomorrow. You know what you doing? Just like, hey, what you you know what you got to do today? Oh, I got to do X, Y, and Z. Sounds like you probably got a hectic week. No, you know Thursday I got to do this, and you know I'm gonna be relaxing. Women will talk if you just you know be a little concerned about them. By then. You can respond with your little tidbits about your schedule and then immediately see where you can fit in in one of those free spaces. Once you can do that, guys, you got to once you once you get that, you guys can now start to make that link. Mm-hmm. Now the last okay, I'm liking it. I'm you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Liking it. <laughs> so last but not least, you when you want to plan this date, you know what I'm saying like that, you already got the young lady enticed over the phone. You know, prepping for an outing can be simple and fun. Now choose a daytime first date so the pressure of sex is non-existent. You know what I'm saying? Dinner at night, that's great, but then you know everybody thinks like, oh, what's gonna happen after dinner with the drinks, you know what I'm saying, and, and all the food. So pick something during the daytime that way. If things go sour, you got the rest of the day to go complain to your girlfriends or your fellas and you and you ain't lost no kind of sleep. You know what I'm saying? True that, true that. You do take the pressure off. You know what I'm saying? So pick something that she hasn't probably done and maybe something that you're interested in. Take her to a shooting range. You know what I'm saying? There, you both are learning something together, and this makes room for a little bit of competition, almost like if you were were going bowling. But this is a way. This is way more thrilling, 
And as you can and as you can see her trying to do show you what she ha she's made out of, you can compliment her and form a bond that could only go further. So yes, people, those are the tips of getting the tail, you know what I'm saying, especially in this holiday season. Be yourself. Do be interesting and do something thrilling with the lady. Yes. Yeah, you said the shooting range. That was like really a left field idea. Shoot, do take me to the shooting range. Mm, who, where else he gonna take me? You know what I'm saying? Like if he take me to the shooting range, it got to be way more interesting things that he can do. Like tomorrow, we're going bungee jumping. Heck yeah, let's do this. Off of the Benjamin. Franklin you know what I'm saying? Bridge. Let's let's take let's take some fencing classes, baby. You know what I'm saying? You know anything to put bring you guys together. I hear you. That's what's up. That's the tips to getting the tell. You got to do something thrilling. Other than just riding around with no insurance. <laughs> hoping that you don't get pulled over. Taking her to Mill Creek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's, go, let's go to the rave. Let's go to the rave and rave theaters and then go to like, go to a bar. Like, come on. Go to Mad Max's afterwards. I mean, that's, So cliche. You know, no, I mean, that's cool. Like, you know, I'm not knocking no movies. I'm just saying, like, if you're really trying to, really trying to seal the deal, like, do something out of the order. just pop a pill? Oh, um, yeah, my sinuses. <laughs> like, she over here talking like, yeah, so, you know, do something real thrilling. <laughs> do some hair on. Right, right, <laughs> she just popped the drills like Jackie Chan. You know what I'm saying? So. But that's cool. So, if you follow those steps correctly, fellas, you should be a little bit closer <laughs> to getting that tell. You like that? You like that? Drop a $10 bill down like, is this yours? Yeah. Oh, no. Let's buy something together, babe. Let's, what's up? You want some chips? <laughs> drop that ten, man. You want some wrap snacks? It, <laughs> if it if it looked like she might be stuck up, drop a five just in case. Like she might look at you like you crazy. Like yeah, if she said that's her ten, then that's not the that's not the. <laughs> that's like you a li that's a lying bra, like, yo. You don't want to you don't want to even start it off like that. You want to you know you you be like nah, that ain't yours to give. Like drop your trans pass. Just play her, play out like that ain't yours. <laughs> you know, I dropped it. Drop your trans pass Pretty when broad. it's a Saturday <laughs> and you only got one ride left, so you could just put two thousand. Like, oh, is that your uh, trans pass? That's about to expire tomorrow. Oh, okay, maybe we can uh shady ride sister. up to the. Uh, you don't want that woman. She's a liar. If she's gonna be like picking up money, it ain't hers. But you don't want to find out she a liar with ten dollars on the line. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the whole thing about it. Like if you gonna find out she a liar, like you you might want to, you know, <laughs> just just you know just stay in your lane. That's all. Yes. <laughs> So, interesting. I yeah. like that. That was very thought provoked. I hope y'all took heed. 267-535-3930. You're listening to the Next Level Show, MC. <laughs> Super Tang. Yeah. Oh, somebody's calling in. Boom. I'm glad. Bing, See, bong, boom. Yeah, let's just keep that I on. I don't hear it. Next Level Show. Hello? Yeah, Next Level Show. Yeah, it's that pressure ball. Oh snap, Lou Pressure! <laughs> I ain't heard from Lou Pressure in like three years. This uh, Pressure Boy, man, they call him they call him Pressure Boy. He uh, up and coming comedian. Oh nice. <laughs> What's going on, man? I heard yeah. you got engaged. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Keep that pressure on low, though. All right, Pressure Boy. All right. Keep that pressure Pre pressure's on low, on low man. Right. The pipe just busted, yeah, so, man. So what's the topic for the night? All right, we talking about things that make you shake your head. What is something that huh? makes you? Sh Are you there? We have you there. I said this boy can't hear nothing. I said we talking about things that make you shake your head. Like what are some things that make you shake your head? Like you be like, Psh, I can't believe I just seen that. Well, I can't believe that she likes the Yin Yang Twins. My my thing is what what irks me is when you see an old grandma that got a song on. What? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah, I guess you would hate to see that. Yeah, and you know what I mean? Is it? Is she wearing the thong over top of the Depends? Wow. <laughs> I would hope so. I would really hope so because that would be a messy thong. Sis. Oh, man. That would be, That'd be too oh, much work. Too much work. <laughs> There'd yeah. be no point. My thing, be... my, my thing, Pressable, is when you're on the bus, and a big person got to come near you and got to sit next to you. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> How about in the That's summertime it. on the bus that don't have no air condition and you got the person with the funky underarms mm -mm. that's standing up 
with their dog it's, on the arm on the uh, thing there, and yeah, you got I mean, the funk right on. in your face. Yeah, I mean, come on now. Like, and and another thing, touch your boy. You wanna you wanna bus, and the, the bus has already got like a million people on, and the bus driver still wanna stop and pick up everybody. Come on, pressure oh, boy. Yeah. Everybody will put you on a bus driver <laughs> neck and all that. That's a shake guy. Come on, keep it moving, dude. We got places to go. People to see. <laughs> And on the flip you know side, I mean? on the flip side of what huh? you just said, pressure ball, how about when yeah. you the person that's waiting at the bus stop and that bus that got all them people goes past you and you like, oh, man. <laughs> well, you late for that interview, all right. <laughs> yeah. On, they tell you that like, you if you was on that bus, he would have stopped. That's what's shaking my head moment. <laughs> yeah, like, if you was on that bus, you know he would have stopped and picked up 50 people. But now that it's only three people in the bus stop and the, and the bus is full, <laughs> he just going to go completely past you. And you already five minutes late for work. Mm. Exactly. Oh, and somebody else calling. Oh, hey. Is when you really got to run out of steps. Are we getting on a sub and that sub keep on going? Hold right up, put, put that pressure on hold. We got another caller. Put the pressure on hold. Next level show. Yo, what's up? MC is Al. What's up, man? What, what's going on, Al, man? How's it going? What's up? Uh, from school. You know how I be, man. On the grind, man. I feel you. We you got Super mean? Tang in the building. Peace, peace. Yeah, peace, peace. Peace, it's me, Super, Super Tang. Tang. Hey, hey, Al. What's up? <laughs> okay, alright, that's what's up. Hey, you heard how cool he got though. He got ready. I bet he straightened up his shirt when he like, hey, what's up? <laughs> Shoulders off. Huh? Like you put a tie on just now. What's going on, my man? How you doing? Like this brush was working hard, man. He said, "Oh, I thought I was talking to the jiggers." Okay. <laughs> it's all good. We talking about uh, things that make you on. say that. Uh, we talking about things that make you shake your head. What is something that makes you shake your head? Why does it? Why does it? Why does it take so long to try to get to your goals, man? If anything, just ain't going your way. You know what I mean? Oh, well, all right. Well, he sound frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, he... but no, no. I'm just saying it's real talk, cause I got you. Like things all going my way, right? I mean, you I go to no time sometimes, don't you? <laughs> you ain't about to write the note, are you? What? Oh, wow. you sounded like you was at the end of your rope for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? Nah. Things aren't going my way. I'm shaking my own head at my own self. <laughs> I might as well just, you know, forget about all of this. <laughs> yeah, don't don't end it, man. You you got nah, any I other ain't. ones for us? Any other uh things that shake your head or make you shake your um, head? Um, why can't age be cure? Like, it don't make sense. Say that again. Not try to come up weird. Why can't AIDS be cured? Oh, why? Can't, yeah, okay. All right. I'll why give you that one. Just, why can't AIDS it's get cured? Been out for thirty something because years. Of, and you mean to tell me you can't come up with a vaccine, my man? Like, what's going on? Because the government created it's it. It's not like they not getting as big as clock and getting money. You want you know? It's about money. It's about what we there can is a cure do for AIDS. We do. Or we don't so want to do. No, you know there's, I mean? there's no thing. All right, well, uh, <laughs> Miss Supertain said she got something like. No, there's a cure for AIDS. We're just there's not a lot of people who are rich enough to get it. There is a cure. You just gotta have a lot of money. Uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't believe in that, man. I no, no, no. There really, for, there really is a cure for AIDS. There really is a cure for AIDS. All right, well, we'll no, finish. <laughs> we'll finish that discussion on our conspiracy theory show. <laughs> we'll finish this discussion on our conspiracy theory show because this. This will take us through nine thirty and ten o'clock. So, uh, <laughs> no, nah, but no, nah, but we're not getting a conspiracy theory. Uh, and, uh, see, it's just the fact that that's what makes shakes. That's what shakes my head. You know what I mean? I got you. I appreciate it. All right, you got anything else you want to drop on me, or, or that's it for right now? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wrap you later on after the show is over, man. But look, support y'all. Just tell you anything you think I don't like, cause I'm not, I'm not on a computer right now. Just put some on. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for calling up. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, peace. Peace, brother. All right. All right. Yeah. The... Click in. You click in. Next yeah. level. Pressure. Yo, what's up? It's Pressure Boy here. Yeah, what's up, man? I <laughs> thought you fainted, man. You all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, man. Pressure Boy never backs down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what makes me shake my head? What makes you shake when your head? Some of the, um, when some of the Caucasian people argue with the Israelite guys, I just sit there. I'm like, why are you arguing with them? Why are you sitting there? 
Like they're going to believe whatever they want to believe in. And you, by you just keep arguing with them, you're making your own self mad. So just like. I haven't witnessed that. You, were the, you know the people who. I know, been who yeah, I know who you're talking about. But you've I, never I, witnessed them when they're like battling them back and forth. And they're no, like. I, I just be like, why are you? Why are you wasting yep. your time? My, my thing is when I be down China, them Israelites look at me like I'm, like I'm part of their gang. Or yeah. Like that. I'd be like, no, 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 no. I'm not. No, 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 no. Don't. They'd be like, hey, sister. I'd be like, no, 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 no. You don't wrap me up in this. Right off the bat. No, no, no. I just. <laughs> they be having like, a megaphone. The yeah. They be, yeah. I'd be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not gonna get me like wrapped up. Afri- African American ninjas. That's what they look like. The Israelites. Oh man, <laughs> you know African American. Yeah, like that just made me. Sh- ra- I got the red, black, and white ranger downtown. <laughs> Israelites, come on now. Like I be, I get, I get some of what they saying, but like you, you know, what I'm saying every everything that you learn ain't ain't always the truth. So. You know, I, I I give it up to them for what they do, but that makes me shake the head when people just be arguing with them. Like, stop! They're gonna be here the times that they are. Like, you're not gonna change your views. True that. <laughs> I got I got another uh, shake my head, if y'all will. Okay. What makes me shake my head is when I go to the gas station, and yeah. you know you already get it getting it done to you at the pump. Pump what five dollars a gallon? Yeah. And then you got these young girls. That come up and they trying to sell you newspapers. And they like, hey, you want to yeah. subscribe to the Daily News? And I'm like, look, I'm just losing. My whole bank account is in this tank right now. <laughs> like, I but, think that's a bad but, place to try to sell anything. But principal, principal, <laughs> pay on that tip. What makes me crazy is when, you know, somebody can be selling you a day pass or trans pass for cheaper than when they brought it. How are you going to sell me something that you bought for $7, brother, for $4? You mess <laughs> you you yourself up with price. <laughs> you need like, to reverse you know, hustling. <laughs> that's like, you like that bought money. three day pass, $21. Uh-huh. Sell them for $4. That's Because you know they stole it. <laughs> oh, they, yeah. they, just, they just want the money. <laughs> that, that's, that's, but that's I mean, at least, crazy, get, though. at least ask for like 10 right? <laughs> Exactly, like at least seven fifty. Like well, eight, eight, you know, you know what what say for a, for a full week, you know, what I'm saying like you know fifteen dollars, like knock off five dollars, make a little come up. But dang on, <laughs> you know what but makes four me crazy? Four, can you you can, you you must got the flunk the math. I got <laughs> four dollars. Like, I paid for seven for. I got four. I got for four dollars, bro. Like so, I mean, see, you got ten thousand ten day passes for forty for four dollars. That's forty dollars right there. If you bought, you didn't make. Yeah, man. <laughs> he just did the whole math. Yeah, right there. What made you? What makes you crazy? I was gonna say, what makes me crazy is these moms who yell at their kids when obviously these mothers are on the phone walking ahead of their little three-year-old baby, and when the three-year-old's little legs are not catching up, oh. they're yelling and cursing at this baby. I'm mean, like, they're three. they're three. You're one. Look, your one step is like five steps for them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And they're walking. Meanwhile, they on the phone. The they on the phone. Pa- yeah, power walking, <laughs> and the little little baby like three exactly. blocks away, and you screaming and yelling. Exactly. This three year old like that it, irks the it, heck it, out of me. Stay right on it. It makes me sick to see a mother, you know, having her child on the leash like that. Child. What is going on? That, that child is not an animal. <laughs> learn to take care of your child. Like learn to like control I mean, your children. Meanwhile, meanwhile, they're like, oh, she's so rambunctious, and this child with the leash got a, a cup full of juice and cookies and stuff like that. And uh-huh. you wonder why they running around and they knocking tantrums so, you know in, the, in the shopping cart going back and forth like, uh. they, got, they got sugar all up in their system. <laughs> they don't need it. Give them a fruit. Give them, a, give, them some, give them an apple and some water and <laughs> call it a day. Like, come on. Definitely. But, yo, hey, pressure, man. Thanks for, uh, thanks for calling up and uh, letting us know the things no problem. that make you... Shake your head, man. Crazy. Well, all right, I gotta get ready to go fresh, but I gotta go do a show, man. All right. All right, man. Make sure you sell me that uh that day pass for three dollars. All right, man. Oh, I got three dollars. Okay. <laughs> all, all right. right. All right. Thank you. All right. all right. That was a uh, pressure ball. What we got going on on the uh chat rooms and the Facebooks and the everything that you got going on over there? What about chatting? Okay, well that's fantastic. <laughs> Let's get into uh. I was gonna say, on I, can, my, I, I was about to say I can um. Shout out on that I'm Kent Wesley, high-powered internet attorney. What in the world is that? I don't know you, but I do know you probably oh. deserve something. <laughs> what is going Maybe on? Maybe a 4G smart. <laughs> I was gonna say I can shout out an event that's happening. Yeah, let's shout on. Is this one of those invites? Facebook invites? Or this is something that you actually are condoning? Oh, I'm actually condoning. Like, All right. <coughs> so yeah, so on the on the reggae tip, on the reggae tip, people. 
So this Friday, if you guys are not going to go to the Red House for the third Friday party, you can check out the Roots and Dove Reggae in a heavyweight sound system style. It's going to be happening at the Wall Street International, which is at 1431, 1439, um, sorry, 1431, 39 North 52nd Street. So that's like, if you're coming up from Lancaster, you just make a left off of 52nd Street and it's right there you know, like a half a block up. But um, basically, it's featuring a unified mass of uh, selectors and sounds playing the best in roots and dub in a in Rastafarian style. So, uh, you know, many to mention. So this will be a, uh, delivered over a wicked sound system provided by the mighty Solomonic Sounds, Jaw Thunder, and Shao Roar. Food and drinks are available at the venue. This will be held in the indoor portion of the Wall Street International. So for all the people who been at Wall Street, it is a phenomenal outdoor space. Um, but they have like an indoor place there and actually we did a benefit show for um, the Jamaican, the the Source Farm School up in Jamaica, which it basically teaches uh, poor people how to grow food and feed themselves properly. But this event is only- On the streets? Yes, on the streets and the sidewalk. They're, they're going to be doing it. No, I'm just saying it's a farm school. <laughs> I mean, you said poor people. Oh, you mean like just like- You know, like pe poor people- like not homeless, but like- Poor people- you know what poor people is, right? I mean, people who don't really have money, but they kind of do, but not ain't that really. Like everybody in no, not the ninety nine percent right now. No, there's a lot of people who have jobs, but there's people who live in the countryside who like you know who do little minimal jobs, but they don't really have much money to go down oh, to the market. Right. Like when poor, you said poor. I mean, when you said it, damn, I mean, like I, you think everybody just poor on Jamaica? Like we just a bunch of random oh, muffins on Jamaica? Over, yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, my bad. We just a bunch of. I was of trying to fix my phone, so I ain't here to Jamaica. Bunch part. of barefooted banana boat <laughs> people just. I thought you was talking about in foot. Like and bananas Philly. all day and nah. drinking rum. Is that what you think we do? We just. <laughs> no, <Nah>, Jamaica is <laughs> all that. You know I mean, what I'm we just dance and. <laughs> it's gangsta out there, but it's all that. Nah. But um, yeah, this is five dollars to get into. So this is this Friday. It starts at ten p.m. to three o'clock in the morning. So roots and dub, yeah, people. That's like an international promotion right there. Yeah, it's gonna be happening here in Philly. What? It's in Philly? Yeah, this is at Wall Street International. It's called Wall Street International. But it's for Jamaica? No, no. Oh, man. I was saying that we threw a benefit there oh, for all right. Jamaica. All right, while this song is playing, she's <laughs> going to catch me up to date on what's going on on my show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's knock a mile. Come on. Yeah. Let's knock a mile. Yeah. Let's knock a mile. That was MC and J with all my John. Now we're gonna get into some classic Buster Rhymes. You know what it is. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm on the other side now. Clear so what we about to have going on? Uh, part two of the. Uh, Rhythms. Yeah, the rhythms. Yes, people. You know what I'm saying? The super tang, y'all. The yeah. yard on the next level show rhythm. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, like he said, I'm Super Tang from the Yard to Yard show every Saturday, 4.30 to 7. And I love to play the rhythms for the people. So, yes, people, this one is the, uh, you know, in the spirit of the holiday season, people come together. We're going to premiere the Obama rhythm. Yes, Obama. people. So, let's give it up to the people. Lively up yourself. Call in 267-535-3930. Yes, people, let's get into the mix. Yes, yes, people, that was the Obama rhythm. Yes, this is your girl, Super Tang, straight off the yard to yard every Saturday from 4.30 to 7. Check me out, people playing the best in reggae and hip-hop. Yes, people. Mm. Yeah, she had that other mic muted, so I couldn't say nothing. But uh, <laughs> shout out to the Obama rhythm. Yeah, I mean. I'm a rhythm. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> yeah, that was a smooth move. Yes, I keep it smooth like butter. <laughs> so we got the Christmas special coming up on your yes, show. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, next Saturday is going to be the hip hop Christmas special. And then um, on Christmas Eve is going to be the reggae Christmas special. I got like so much, so much reggae I'm going to be playing Saturday. So biggest to all the people and listen in people it's gonna be nice and i encourage you to go onto facebook and check out the yard to yard radio fan page send me your holiday wishes especially for my people who listen in internationally you know what i'm saying people from the islands people from europe you know what i'm saying if you know people from the states and you want to give a nice little shout out to them 
um, you know, flood the inbox with the Yard to Yard fan page and send me a message and send your love. And even for the people in the states, if you want to send your people who are out on the on the islands or everywhere else, you know, send your holiday wishes and I will announce them on the air. So that's what I do. Bring the people together. That's what's holidays. up. Unity. Unity emoji. You know what I'm saying? One of the steps and of family. Kwanzaa. All right, that's what's up. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that <laughs> for that uh, Christmas special. Yes. I'll be locked in, calling her. I'll mess with her because she messed with me today. El Galoo. <laughs> and uh, let me see what I'm going to do. What's up? You got seven right. minutes. Yeah, I got some time. All right, I'm going to get into this Akon drink real quick, and I'll be back with the wrap-up. That's Akon, no labels. I really feel that track. That's a nice. Akon. You don't like Akon? Akon. Yo, yeah. I didn't want to hate no Akon. Akon. Yeah, but uh, no Locked labels, up. man. I like that joint. Not up. No, <laughs> let me out. So it's been another great episode. Yes. Next level show meets the yard to yard. Yes. It's just been Mash fantastic. Up. We had, we had a lot of things going on today. So I, many things. It's hard for me to even <laughs> recap it, like. Like you just gotta check that joint out. Rebroadcast. Definitely. Yeah, that's gonna be the rebroadcast right there. So it was a pleasure having you on the show. I yep. appreciate you for coming through. You're welcome. And uh doing what you <laughs> did. <laughs> <laughs> These fellas knows, you know, what to do in order to get those things you that they're trying? trying to get. Yeah, and again, big shout outs to Richard Raw for coming in on the instant. Richard Raw, black black cancer and pressure, pressure caller. Yeah, pressure boy. Pressure boy. Funny. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> Funny. So, y'all know where to catch me next week. Same place, same time. Next level show. One more time, where can they catch you? Oh, every Saturday, 4 30 to 7, yard to yard. There you go. We're going to call that a wrap. This is uh, Nas and Damian Marley. Yes. As we enter.